Hi everyone, Heatley here from Camps Australia Wide and today I want to take you through the filtering options in the Camps Australia Wide app. So I'm sitting up here around Gympie and you'll notice that there's lots of different campsites available in this region and you'll notice there's lots of different icons. Now the Camps Australia Wide app, unlike every other app in the space, differentiates campsite type by a different icon. So if I pop over to the home page, go down here, you can actually see a, there's actually a key, map and site symbol key for you. So as you can see there, a black one with the moon in it is overnight and free, yellow, showground, pub stays red, etc. So it makes it really easy to filter or even in a lot of cases you don't need to filter because of the nature of it. So let's pop back to the explore page and here we are. So we run our filtering options across the top here. Um, we tend to, you have great um, ability to choose lots of different filters. We typically encourage people to limit the number of filters they're running at any given time. But let's just do a quick type search for now. Let's just look for free and donation sites. And that's what's available in our region. And so, and of course now if we wish to remove them, we just simply clear all or tap the, arrow, the tick box, go back to view results and there they are. Now we find that if you st once you start adding three or four or five different filters together, it really limits the number of sites that come up and often, um, often sites don't come up at all. So let's just say we're choosing um, overnight and free. Here's the site types. We also are looking for a pets allowed sites. So we'll view those results. And that's all your free campsites that have pets allowed. Now one of the things we've noticed is that many sites are pet have pets allowed. So if we turn off the filter by site, all of these sites in this particular region are pet friendly. You can bring your pet to. Now, if you want to go further on that and you want a pet friendly site in the region, you're fairly flexible on what you're looking for. You can actually go along to our advanced filters and you can start to determine whether you want a powered site, whether you want a toilet there, whether it must have a dump point, all the little things that you're specifically looking for. Now, we, as I say, we encourage you to limit your filter searches because quite simply, once you start bundling them all together, then you really start to limit the options that are going to be available. But let's choose toilets and let's see what comes up. All those sites there have got toilets available based on what we're seeing and, and they're all pet friendly. Now, let's limit it and let's say, uh, but they must be a showground stay, your results. So all those showgrounds in our region here, there's a few more popping down the bottom there near Imbal, Kenilworth, etc. They are all pet friendly. They are a showground, rec ground stay, and they include a toilet. So quite simply, what we encourage people to do is, in most cases, many of our customers do not need to use the by type filter. We know some of you are used to doing it, so we know that's why you do do it. But one of the greatest things about this app is the ability to see what you're looking for really quickly and really simply. Now, of course, we can get into opening up one of the sites and seeing what it says and how it looks. But today it was all about filters and giving you some information about how the filters work and how they apply. We'll be doing more further videos on other features later on. So that's it on uh, filters. If there's anything else you'd like to know, please come back to us and we'll let you know.